Whoops. <laughs> Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here. We're playing more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. In the last episode, we got assigned to sentry duty for a day and spent another day uh, doing some missions. We uh, missed our one of our clients uh, in one mission, but otherwise we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Being said... <clears throat> Everyone, listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into its outermost reaches, there lies a place named Tree Shroud Forest. In Tree Shroud Forest, time has apparently stopped. Huh? Eek! What did you say? Excuse me for a minute. Apparently, time stopped for dinner. Go figure. Uh, where did I put my slippers? There we go. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, as soon as I... There we go. Yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. The wind has stopped. The clouds are motionless. <laughs> Dewdrops on leaves won't fall. They just hang there, suspended. In Tree Shroud Forest, time itself has truly stopped. Time has stopped? But how could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable! Yes, the unthinkable has happened. Why has time stopped in Tree Shroud Forest? Well, it's because the Tree Shroud Forest's time gear was stolen. Huh? The, the time gear was stolen? That's what made time stop! Hey, hey, hey! I heard it was possible, but now it's really happened. I don't get it, though! Why would anyone take a time gear? <clears throat> Quiet, everyone. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, others may also be in danger. <coughs> the officer has to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Hooray! Things just uh, kind of go back to normal. Oh, you there. You two, come here. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Everdread. That was very admirable. So, you all will have finally be signed a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Hooray! Let me see your wonder map. Captain Town is here, and over here is where we would like you to investigate. See? There's a waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall, but we received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret, and that's where you come in. We want you to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what this mission entails? Good. All right, I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. What's wrong? You're shivering. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's making me nervous. This will be the first time we get to do a real job as an exploration team. I'm feeling a little worked up. I feel like I'm gonna burst from excitement. Let's do our best, Daniel. Yeah! <clears throat> you two. Train hard every day. <laughs> hey, Gilliam. I've been meaning to ask you. What are you doing here all the time? Eh? Who? Me? <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> He's not gonna tell us. Oh, Daniel, and Abram, too. Huh? What's Belle doing here? Hello, what's going on here? I just started an assembly here, today, in fact. Assembly? Yes, for assembling your team. Have you ever considered adding members, Abram? Other members? Well, sure, it'd be cool to add other members. 
If there were more than just the two of us, it sure would help when we explore dungeons. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Oh? How do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you, Team Olympia. Here goes! hey -ya! Now Team Olympia has the power to recruit new members. Really? Yes, from now on, while battling Pokémon in dungeons, you may earn respect from some of them, and those Pokémon will then ask to join Team Olympia. Once you've recruited a Pokémon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring a Pokémon along, visit my assembly, then choose which members should join your team for the exploration. Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes recruits. Oh wow! Thanks, Belle! Uh, yeah, we don't have anybody on the team yet. Well, that's easy enough to fix. We'll just, uh, you know, drop by our beds. Save the game. And presto! We have save editing magic. No, I don't want to save the game. Let's head on back up to the assembly and uh, see what has changed in our friend roster. Nothing. This save editor sucks. Alright, we're just gonna have to go on without it then. Sorry, Buck. Team Flame. <laughs> Awkward. So yeah, I guess it's just gonna be uh, Daniel and Abram this time, again. Huh? What's going on? There's stairs here. There's something written on the sign. What? Spinda's Cafe. A shop of hopes and dreams. Opening soon. Win big, it says. Looks like a new shop will be opening soon, but hopes and dreams? I wonder what kind of shop this will be. Let's come back after it's open and find out. It's still closed. Alright. Let's check our inventory. Gonna probably put away one of these items. Don't really need two types of throwing item. Or a straight throwing item and a pebble, so uh, yeah, put away the stick. Let's see, what else can we put away? Cross eye seed we won't be needing. Heal seed, uh, some more max elix. Gonna sell these max elixirs. Put away an Ornberry. That ought to be good. Let's sell the rest of this. <coughs> it's not much, but it's something. Let's see what's for sale. Nothing we can afford. <laughs> it's the Poochie Brothers. The Zatu shop, yeah, doesn't seem to be in business. Yeah, we don't have quite enough for a uh, gummy or a reviver seed. Oh well. Let's move on. Secret Waterfall. So this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Yeah! That water's coming down hard! Try getting closer to the waterfall, Daniel. It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stay standing near a deluge. 
See? It's intense. If you were to fall under this waterfall, you'd probably be battered. I didn't think it would pouring down this powerfully. Where should we even start looking? Ugh. Something seems familiar. It's that dizziness I felt before. It's Izzy! Looks like she's been here before. I think this is all a test of some kind. It happened again! I saw something, but what did I just see? Huh? What's the matter, Daniel? What? You had another vision? This time you saw a lone Pokémon leap into this waterfall. And not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Hmm... It looks like that water is coming down really heavily. Imagine if there was actually a solid cliff wall behind that waterfall. Ouch. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So, Daniel. What do you think, Daniel? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Are you really convinced that there's a cave here? Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, Daniel. Yes, I totally believe in you, Daniel. <clears throat> Yikes. Okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and leap, fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smush no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever! Ready? Let's go, Daniel! Three, two, one, now! What is this? Yes, it is a cave! You're right after all, Daniel! Let's go explore this cave, Daniel! Let's see what secrets it holds! Introducing the Waterfall Cave. This is going to be the, uh... Well, I guess the second dungeon with some really dangerous enemies. Meet Barboach. They know ground-type moves. Both Charmander and Pikachu are weak against ground-type moves. So, uh, watch your step. Geopebble. Should, uh... No, I already have it set. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, this is the, uh, first expedition where we would potentially be able to recruit new members. Unfortunately, we might have to uh, sacrifice one of them so a certain other Pokemon can join our team. Because, dang, this save editor has limitations, let me tell you something. It's Wooper! Uh, another water ground type, evidently. So yeah, unlike in, uh... Unlike in the main series, it seems ground types here take a quarter damage from electric attacks instead of none at all. It's Grimer. Grimer is a pure poison type. Not really much to be said, except for the fact that they have a uh, chance of poisoning you. <coughs> so, if you're not an idiot like me, bring Petcha Berries. That's what I'm saying. I forgot these guys were here. It's Tangela, also known as the Fry Kids. <laughs> Fox brought that up during uh, our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon RPG. I did not know what he was talking about, but it turns out they're a McDonald's mascot. You know, like Grimace and Birdie and the Hamburglar. I knew about those guys, but I forgot about the Fry Kids, for some reason. Transfer Orb uh, turns one Pokemon into another. Useful if you are uh, afraid of encountering a certain type of Pokemon, like uh, for us that would be Barboach. Whooper probably isn't quite so bad unless he also knows Mudslap. Ooh, Abram is now level 11. Very cool. Let's 
Psyduck. Uh, Abram, you take the lead. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Thunder Wave. Good. We're working together, guys. It's really quite amazing. This Pokemon emotion called friendship. Stairs are up top, aren't they? Or they're along the bottom. I uh, kind of cut a swath right through the middle of the floor. Like I'm dancing across some kind of carpet. Yeah! Okay. Ooh, Reviver Seed. Very nice. I think this is the first dungeon where you can find those naturally. <clears throat> Roll Call Orb uh, teleports everybody in the team to right next to you. It's good if you get separated from them somehow. Yay! Level up! Got a uh, Psyduck here. Psyduck! Yeah! Psyduck, you are going to get hacked. But uh, yeah, we now have a third team member. Now... Unlike in Red and Blue Rescue Team, you don't need to take the team member all the way to the end of your mission in order for him to stay on your team. This Psyduck, uh, until we replace her anyway, has permanently joined Team Olympia. Not going to go into her moves because, again, we are going to replace her, but uh, you can kind of see there, being a water type, Psyduck is able to cross the water. You're going to want to keep that in mind uh, for later dungeons where your leader is not necessarily a fire type. Of course, uh, you could have picked a different star than me, and if that's the case, then uh, props to you, I guess. I like Charmander. Surskit, I think, is water and bug type, which means uh, he would take neutral damage from fire type moves, if that were true, and it, indeed it is. It's like 800 Pokemon out there, only 500 or so in this, in this uh, particular game, but it's still hard memorizing them all. Also, poison. This is very bad for your health. I mean, obviously. But, uh, yeah, if you have a Petcha Berry, eat it. If you have a Petcha Scarf, wear it. Because poison will stop you from recovering HP. Which is very bad if you have not yet found the stairs. Always carry healing items with you, is the uh, lesson we are learning here. The uh, music actually kind of reminds me of Quest 64 a little bit. And that's it! Only eight floors of dungeon. Wow, look at that, Daniel. Look at all the gems sparkling. Whoa, look over there, it's a gigantic gem. Wow, I've never seen a gem this huge. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Nope, it's not budging really stuck tight. Can you get a try, Daniel? Whoa, 
This is really stuck. It's too bad we don't have a pickaxe. Or a drillber or something. Nope. No good. So you couldn't move it either, Daniel. But we can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm gonna give it another go, Daniel. Mm, it's not budging one bit. Ugh. Oh no. It's happening again. It's... <laughs> hey there, Izzy. She pushes it. The secret button that triggers a huge uh, rush of robber river. A huge rush of robber. What the heck is a robber? <laughs> it's no good. I can't pull it out. He just happened to push the gigantic gem. Huh? What's going on? What? It's a flood! Whoa! Mamma mia! Sploosh. It's a hot spring! Also, proof that Charmanders can swim just fine. Hi, hi! Are you two okay? You plopped down from nowhere. Oh, you startled everyone. Where are we? This is the hot spring. A hot spring? Indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? Map? Oh, if you mean our wonder map, yes, we have one. Unfold it for me. There, we are here. This is the hot spring's location. Oh, I see. The waterfall is here, so... Hey, check this out, Daniel. The water carried us all the way over here. My goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way? What a long journey that must have been. Psyduck is getting a Mike Wazowski by the text box. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea, we'll do that. Thanks, everyone. Alright, well, that was quite the adventure. Uh, let's save our game. Actually, no. Let's not. Not just yet. Yeah, let me see if I got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there's a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there's a gigantic gem. When you pushed on the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you were flushed off to the distant hot spring? Is that the gist of your report? Yes. It's really disappointing that we couldn't bring the gem back. No, no, no! Emphatically no! This is a major discovery! Really? Undoubtedly! After all, the presence of the cave behind the waterfall. No one knew about that before now. Oh, I see! We made a discovery! When I had those dizzy spells, the shadow of that Pokemon I saw... <coughs> that shape... I've seen that shape before. That shape... There's no mistaking it. It's Jigglypuff as seen from above. <laughs> That was Guildmaster Izzy. Your waterfall discovery is just amazing. The Guildmaster must be told. What? What's wrong, Daniel? Huh? You're saying Guildmaster Izzy may have been at that waterfall before? No, no, no. Emphatically, no. That's inconceivable. You keep using that word. If that were so, the Guildmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? <laughs> it was a test. Mm. However, since you insist, I will confirm it with the Guildmaster. 
And why would they want to spoil their own discovery? That's strange. They should be used to it by now. These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? What was that, Mr. Paul? What? Oh, no, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Anyway, I will go confirm what you told me with the Guildmaster. Please wait here. So, how'd it go? When I asked the Guildmaster, she mulled it over for a bit, and then she said, Oh, memories, sweet memories. yum ta Then she danced around a bit, and then she said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what the Guildmaster said. Uh, to sum it up, it's just as Daniel suspected. She has indeed already been to the Waterfall Cave. Oh, okay. That's kind of disappointing. We really thought we discovered a new place. I wish Guild I wish the Guildmaster had told us right from the start. The Guildmaster can be rather uh, erratic at times. You and I can't quite fathom what goes on in her head. Well, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Ugh. So, was it a test, or was it a coincidence? Who knows for sure. <laughs> Today was exhausting. I should get to sleep early. <sighs> we went through a lot today. But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Sure, there was that huge letdown. But it was our first exploration. I thought it was going to explode from excitement and anticipation the whole time. It made me realize I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day, I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's the dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. <laughs> but seriously, thanks. I can explore because of you, Daniel. Yes. Be brave. Be the bravest ever! I'm the biggest chicken around, and even I managed to work up the courage. It was all because you were with me, Daniel. Seriously, Daniel, thanks. Oh yeah, you know, I was thinking. I noticed something about your dizzy spells, Daniel. You always seem to be touching something when they happen. Come to think of it, Abram's right. When I heard Timmy scream... We're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. And that other time. Whoops. Excuse me. And we were exploring Waterfall Cave. It's true. It was always after touching something. That's when I got those dizzy spells. When I touch something, I see something connected to it, right? There's one more thing. When we rescued Azuril, you had a vision of the future. But this time, you saw Ismelda going into the cave, right? So that means this time you saw an event that occurred in the past. That's true. In other words, Daniel, if you touch something, you see its past or future. You must have that kind of special ability. This could be something totally incredible! You could use it in lots of ways, not just for exploring either. This ability could be useful for many things. It's fantastic, Daniel. Well, yes, I guess that's true. That doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It'd be useful if I could have visions when I wanted, but... Hey, you two. The Guildmaster wants to see you right away. Guildmaster, I brought you Team Olympia. Guildmaster? Hiya! Your team went through a lot of today. Yes, a lot lot. But don't worry, I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning to mount a full expedition soon. An expedition? Yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. We carefully choose which guild members go on the expedition. Really? Usually we would never, ever consider rookies to be expedition members. 
but you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decided to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. Really? Now, now, you haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There's still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to go do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard! Yes! An expedition! Isn't it fantastic, Daniel? My heart is pounding all of a sudden. Let's try our best and make sure we get picked for the expedition. Yeah! Chapter 6. Up and out of its morning! Ugh, good morning, Daniel. That is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. Uh, next week, hopefully we don't run into your boy Guzma. See you all then. Did I say next week? I meant next time. <laughs> Derp.